guys welcome back to tech Dose. and in this video we will look at check if n and its double exist which is from lead code number 1346 let's now read the problem statement in this problem given an array arr of integers check if there exist two indices i and j such that i is not equals to j and i and j are within the array length where array at i must be equals to two times of array of j now this problem statement is very simple uh, in the constraint section you can see that the array length will be less than equals to 500 and all the items will range from minus 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power of 3 okay now if you look at the example 10 to 5 3 then in this case what you can do simply is if you are given an item 10 then you have to find if there is two times of 10 present in the array so if i can take this 10 to 5 and 3 then given an item 10 you have to check if two times of 10 exist in the given array so you will be parsing it again you can go for uh, this two and you will check for the entire array if there is two times of two existing then you will check for this five and check if there is two times of five existing and you can see that yes for five two times of five exist and therefore we will be returning true in this case so if you solve by this approach then definitely for every item you have to iterate through the entire array and the approach will be order of n square now for this problem statement since you have constraint of maximum 500 your n square will be 25 times of 10 to the power of 4 which is less than 10 to the power of 8 so definitely this is also going to pass but then we would want to solve it by some uh, better approach more optimal approach right so if you want to solve it optimally then what will you do is we will be inserting this entire array into a set so i can insert 10 to 5 3 into a set now I can do all my searches easier without having to go through the entire array one after another. Now what I'll do is after having inserted all the items, I can just go to the first item 10 and I will be searching if two times of 10 exist. So I can just check it in, in, in the set. Is there any 20? No. So that means I'll go to the next item 2. I'll search. Is there any 4? No. I'll go to the next item 5 and I'll search. Is there any 10? Yes. So I'll be returning true. I will assume that the search time in the set is uh, order of 1 which is theta of 1 exactly so uh, in this case the time complexity for building this set will be order of n plus uh, we will have to search for all these items to find out the double right so that will also be n so the total time complexity will be order of n but this is a two parse approach we could have done something better like let's say that uh, you were given this array 10 2 5 3 now you can just uh, not build the set entirely but what you can do is for any given item i will always be searching for the item on the left hand side of it like whatever i items i have already seen within that range only i will be searching so when i see this 10 initially the set is empty and so nothing can be found which is two times of this 10 now i'll be doing two types of searches if the current item is let's say 10 then I can either find two times of current on the left hand side or I can find something current by two so that if I have some item x on the left hand side if I multiply two times of x I'll get the current item now for this to happen for this to happen uh, your current should be an even number if your current item is not an even number then you can never have half of this item on the left hand side right it cannot be an integer if you take an odd number and divide it by two it will not be an integer right so that is why this number has to be even for that condition to be satisfied so in this case 10 will just get inserted as it is because there is nothing to the left hand side now for this two i will be searching for two things first thing which i will search is two times of this two which is four is there any four on the left hand side since i'm maintaining a set and i will call it a scene set that means all the items that i've already seen i do not have four now i will be seeing is this item an even number yes so i'll be searching for two by two that means one so is there any one on the left hand side no there is no one it is not present in the set so it is fine i'll be inserting two and i'll move on move on to this five again for this five i'll search for five times of two that is ten it is present and that is why i will simply return true in this case right so i hope uh, you have understood this solution this is just a one part solution though so this will be order of n now if you look at the code then this is a very simple code where i am just given the array and i'll take the scene numbers that means everything seen till now from the left hand side and i'll iterate one element after another and i'll check given the current element is element i'll be searching for two times of element on the left hand side if that is found i'll be returning true otherwise 
I will check if the element is an even number. So this is the even number check. And if it is an even number, then I'll be searching for element by two on the left hand side. And if that is found, then also I can say that uh, a double exist, right? So I can return true in this case. If this particular element do not has a double, uh, then we will just be inserting it into the scene number set and I will move on to the next item. I'll do this for all the items. If I could not find any double, then at the end, I will be returning false. Right. So this is the entire code and I hope you were able to understand it. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can WhatsApp us on this given number.